we now consider a very important effect that reduces the space efficiency of a warehouse and this effect is called honeycombing. Please take some time and do your own research about the word, about the concept, about the problem of honeycombing in the, of course in the context of warehouse management. Okay, I assume you did a good research and have some first ideas. This will be helpful to understand the following. Now first of all, why does storing multiple SKUs in a single lane produce double handling? So let's assume we have a three deep lane and consequently we have three storage positions for pallets. But on each of these pallets a different SKU is stored. We call these SKUs A, B and C. So let's say that we can these are our three pallets, our three storage slots, and our forklift has access from the right. Uh, so the first pallet that can be accessed is pallet B. And now what would happen if we have to pick SKU A? Um, first of all, we need to pick pallet B as the first operation and move it outside in a different lane. Second, we have to pick pallet C, move it outside to a different lane. Third operation, we can pick pallet A, the pallet that we actually want, but then we need to um, put back pallet C and B, which requires in total two more operations. So instead of having one operation to pick pallet A, we have to deal with five pallet moves. Remove B, remove C, remove A, and re-enter C, re-enter B. So this is a lot of double handling and this is only resulted from the effect that we have different SKUs in one lane. And of course to avoid this double handling, which is very ineffective, we try to have only one SKU per lane. So for example, we store only AAA in this 3D lane, or only 3, or only BBB, yeah, but no mixture of SKUs. This is a typical way of operating such a warehouse. So we avoid double handling by storing the same SKU in a lane. And therefore, um, we can save a lot of time by storing the same SKU in a lane, because we avoid this double handling. But what you will see, this costs us also quite some space. Uh, we lose space. We are less flexible in storing and using the available space. The position of the first SKU is retrieved from a lane is unoccupied but unavailable to other SKUs. So when we pick a pallet of Pepsi from a Pepsi lane, then we can only store Pepsi in this lane, but we are not allowed to store Mountain Dew in this lane. Yeah? because this would lead again to a mixing. So when we have three items, three pallets of item A in one 3D lane and we remove one pallet of A, we are only allowed to add another pallet of A. We are not allowed to add a pallet of B or C or D or whatever because we want to avoid the mixing. And therefore our space is more restricted in the use and we lose the space. And this type of wasted space is called honeycombing. And the deeper the lanes, the greater the honeycombing costs are. 
let's look at another example. Here again we have three deep lanes, yeah? three pallet positions and on the opposing side of the aisle again three pallet positions. In the middle between these lanes we have the aisle and 50% of the aisle space is calculated theoretically to the left lane and 50% to the right lane. Now we have several lanes next to each other. So and in one lane we are only allowed to store one SKU. We are not allowed to mix the SKUs. So let's assume we consider one week and during this one week the SKU that is stored in this position um, during this one week we really need three pallets of this SKU so we need everything that is stored in this lane and the demand happens equally distributed yeah, a uniform demand so it means after the first pallet is removed after one third of the week the second pallet is removed after two thirds of the week and the third pallet is removed at the end of the week and when it happens like this to formalize the calculation then the first pallet position is only used one case of the time. Now we say we have k equal 3 and all the products in one lane are demanded during the considered period of time. So that means if the lane is k units deep, then the first position is only occupied for one case of the time. The second for 2 over k and the third for 3 over k. And go on and go on.